So now we're looking at graphing lines given a point and the slope. Uh, later on, we'll we'll look at how to find the equation for a line with a that goes through a specific point and the slope, and then we can just graph the equation. For now, we start with the point that we're given, and we use rise and run to determine the actual line, a and then graph it. So step one. We graph the given point. So our given point is 2, negative 2. We'll go 2 to the right from the origin and 2 down to give us 2, negative 2. Now step 2, find rise and run. So we're given that m equals 4 thirds. But we also know that that equals rise over run. So the rise equals 4, and the run equals 3. So step 3. Use rise and run to graph a point from the given point. So rise is 4, so we want to go up 4 and right 3 and that's from our given point. So we're starting at 2, negative 2, and we want to go up 4 and right 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, up, and 1, 2, 3, to the right. So that gives us the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. And then to graph the line, we simply connect these two dots. So there is the graph of the line. So I guess I should write out step four. Connect the dots with a line. Connect the points with the line. And then this is the graph of the line that goes to the point 2, negative 2 with a slope of 4 thirds. Now we can check our, our work by finding a, a third point. Uh, we could go down 4 and left 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. I think this is more human error than, than than anything. It should go through this this whole number point right there. Uh, so it does verify that it's on the same line if we went uh, use the slope to work backwards, or if we go from our point five two. If we go up four one two three four and over three one two three, it does go through that point as well, which verifies that we have graphed the the correct line